Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for being with us on TCM. For the next few hours, I'll be joined by a good friend of ours, a member of the TCM family, film historian and critic Leonard Malton. Leonard, welcome. Thanks for being here. Great to be here, Ben. Thanks. Oh, always good to see you. Leonard is here to discuss the release of his latest film catalog, which includes more than 10,000 titles. It's Turner Classic Movies presents Leonard Malton's classic movie guide from the silent era through 1965. Tonight, Leonard and I will be focusing on a selection of new titles that have been added to the guide. And up first, Leonard and I are going to introduce one of the last silent films released during the transition to sound. It's a lively story from 1929. It's been recently restored. Why Be Good with Colleen Moore and Neil Hamilton. So, uh, Leonard, uh, why did you add this now? Because now it's available. This film was unseen for more than 80 years. 80? Yeah, if we'd been having this discussion five years ago, we wouldn't be talking about this movie. <laughs> it's amazing. How did it become available after such a long period of time? Well, uh, my friend Ron Hutchinson from the Vitaphone Project mm -hmm. uh, has been gathering and finding, with a lot of uh, support from people around the world, these original Vitaphone discs, the soundtracks for a bunch of films made in the late silent, early sound era. And he was at a film forum in New York introducing a bunch of Vitaphone short subjects and said, we found the discs with the soundtrack for this great Colleen Moore film called Why Be Good, wonderful music soundtrack. But unfortunately, the film is lost. And in the back of the house, a guy said, no, it's not. I know where it is. A guy in the theater. <laughs> in the theater. Oh, and that was Joe Ransky, who is himself a film historian and expert and a good friend of the star Colleen Moore. And he knew that several of her films had been deposited years ago at a film archive in Italy. And thus began a something like 27-year odyssey <laughs> to somehow bring that film back to the US and with the help of the Vitaphone Project and the restoration team at Warner Brothers, marry picture and sound back together and bring the film back to life and back to existence. Let's talk about the silent nature of this movie because it's, uh, it's both not quite silent and not quite with sound. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, Warner Brothers bought out the, the studio known as First National. And Colleen Moore was a very big star. In fact, she was the biggest box office star in 1927 and 28. She's not well remembered today, but she was a big, big star. And this film was one of her big hits of that era. Warner Brothers decided at this time, after debuting Vitaphone, the miracle of sound, that every film they released would have a synchronized soundtrack. Now, that didn't mean dialogue necessarily, but it did mean music. Mm -hmm. And sometimes sound effects, you'll yeah, hear a, some... You'll hear the crowd clapping. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, car, horns, car horns, things right. like that. And that's what you'll see here. So it is kind of a transitional film with a wonderful uh, array of popular tunes of the era. And it also reflects the era in terms of dealing with what we know now as the flapper. Yeah. She's, she is as, looks as much like a flapper. She's like the prototype for a flapper. Exactly. And the, the question is, well, what does that really mean? You know, what is she all about? And this film explores that. Carrie Wilson wrote the screenplay, and I think it's a very provocative and somewhat modern story. Oh, I think more than somewhat modern. I mean, there's a speech toward the end of the movie that is a, a very sort of progressive stand mm -hmm. on, on sort of a, a woman's role in a male-driven society. Absolutely. And, and I think that's what resonates today with this film. All right, Leonard, thank you very much. Let's take a look from 1929, recently restored by the Vitaphone Project, re-released by Warner Brothers. Here's Why Be Good. Mm -hmm. 